So um, after the trip to um, Ali Pali the weekend before, I thought I'd go to here on the Sunday. Um, and it wasn't just a rail show, it was uh, everything as you can see from this uh, thumbnail bit. So you go in and you pay your £7.50 uh, at this entrance and this is a big site as you can see. <laughs> You've got signposts to get you to where you've got to go. So I found it, it looked uh, quite good and it was a bit cold. So the first thing I saw was uh, all this um, and uh, yeah a little bit of film coming up with that and more of this later on absolutely So the, uh, the layouts are in these uh, buildings here. And then we've got some refreshment over there, which I'm going to go and get a cup of tea on in a minute. So the wind noise got so bad, I've taken the sound off that I filmed at the time. And, uh, but you can see how big a site this is. And those um, trucks are all over in those tents over there, that you can see. So yeah, a bit of walking around. Luckily it was dry. So uh, I've never had tanks guarding our way into a model railway show, but here we not only have one, we've actually got two, and more of these later on as well. So the first of the uh, layouts, and this was it. And they had lights in here because they were because it was a bit dark. So a, a nice little uh, end to end. Um, for our first one, and uh, this is DC um, and double O, obviously. Um, there wasn't so much uh, choice at this layout at this um, show, um, but what was there was, was okay, as you'll see through this video. But there was a lot of other things uh, on show, uh, which I thoroughly enjoyed, I must admit. So I'll just watch, let you watch this, and I did do a bit with my little cube camera at, um, you know, on, the, on the actual layout itself. Back siding. Oh, yeah. And then we'll use the blue one to shove them into the press siding. The lock siding. Simulate some things coming off the main line and being shunted into the. Oh, yeah, you can slide it in with the light. How can you do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We've got the class 20 back again, have we? We have. Yeah, I'm building an N2M myself. Are you? Yeah. yeah. But it's. Uh, well, fiddle, fiddle yard each side? Or just the one? For the no, end? I've got a fiddle yard one end. Yeah. It's eight foot long. Well, eight, eight right foot right odd the end, long. And then isolate yeah. the 20 uh, and the new. Yeah. And I'm just doing it on YouTube as well. So oh, that's a while. Surprisingly helpful, isn't it? We need no one to stop at the moment, I'm still building the, the actual, you know, the, the base of it. All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, I don't want. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
So just a few um, pictures I took at the time as you do um, and a little bit more of a Von track to come um, with the cube uh, but yeah I enjoyed this it was a nice little layout really nice enjoyed it so friendly as always of course going to fit all as one. I think it is. Oh, that's ideal. Oh, great. That's very handy. Yeah, that's good. Now we can roll it a little. So I sort of felt it was time for a cup of tea. So I got me a cup of tea, a big, fairly big queue. Uh, but as you can see, the tables were flaming empty. But later on, you'll see that they were a bit fuller. And here's the next uh, layout, little one. A um, lot of small layouts of this, and one big, huge one. And it was definitely a roundy, roundy, as you can see. But, but you know, there's a lot packed into a small little area, isn't it? It's really, really good. So we'll have a little bit of it running. Um, no. You were saying? No, what were you saying, Bert? Well, you might recognise this as a half of a Class 43. So the modeler had uh, cut one down and put a new sort of uh, running gear inside, not the HST running gear. Uh, and I suggested he called it the uh, the class one to one and a half, um, which uh, I'm sure he wasn't going to take, but never mind, it was all a bit of fun. Exactly, yeah. So it'll appear on YouTube, right? Oh yeah. Hope, yeah. hope you don't get inundated for people wanting one. Oh, that's all right, mate. I'll... They'll just have to send me the bits and I'll cut it up for them. <laughs> so back to the tanks, and this time they were actually running, so a little bit of stuff for that, and uh, guess what? <laughs> I'll put my cute camera on both of them, so a bit of film of that. lots of detail you can buy these online um, and they're kits how fast can they go pretty good pretty scale speed I would think eh? yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the dog you'll make of it <laughs> say really really great little models um, probably not cheap but I don't know she didn't say
So, uh, as usual, though, you know, these uh, places, they have these, and they're superb, aren't they? That's uh, um, uh, 15XX, like I've got on my railway, only slightly a bit bigger. And there were some massive models here, absolutely massive, and obviously very, very heavy. Uh, but I did enjoy it, I did have a chat with them, um, and yeah, it's interesting. I wouldn't have any idea how to do these. And look at this car, and there's even a bit of gump on it, which I'll put up. You can freeze it, you might be able to read it. Um, and yeah, absolutely super. And uh, this is who they are. So if you've got a, would like to make things like this, go along, you never know. Now you can see it was pretty busy in here. It was, uh, you know, there was quite a few people, and I had trouble getting to some of the layouts. So I went outside and I went and had a look at another uh, set of um, models and these are the planes. This is huge. This was going to have the uh, engine sprawled up but I didn't actually catch that but they weren't allowed to fly them. I think probably uh, public safety isn't it? But they, yeah they had a good selection of them and these all fly. You know they're not static models they all fly. Um, yeah absolutely super. All different scales, of course, and you can see the equipment to the uh, the left, and uh, yeah, and the, you know very small ones for it. Now the uh, the uh, sock with um, camel wear was all made of wood with canvas over the uh, things as it properly would have been. So then it was time for lunch. So I went to these two, and uh, that's what I got. Nice muffin, six pounds, I think it was six fifty, I think something like that. And you can see it's filled up quite a bit from uh, earlier mo in the morning. So then these lots, these are uh, big, uh, as you can see, <laughs> trains. And it just shows you how big they are. Um, and I must admit these were all moving a bit quick because obviously some of them are done by steam or if not with a battery inside and radio control. Um, so I've got some of it, but uh, please bear with me. So I went back later in the day to see if uh, they had any more different trains, and they did. <laughs> I've been doing it about six years now. So I've got no idea what this is at all, I'm afraid. Uh, all these for that matter, but I'm sure some of you will know. So uh, this bus had been uh, parked outside all the time, um, but it wasn't going anywhere, it was just advertising really. Um, but it's fair enough, you know, why not? And by the time we'd walked around this site, we might well have needed that, but luckily I didn't. But yeah, I could have done. So we go on to these trucks, and uh, this was really great. So have a watch of this.
I'm from the uh, Ipswich District RC Truckers. Uh, we run a club meet once a month on average and we do a lot of um, events and that, and various shows and stuff as well. We're here, going to be here uh, about a dozen times this, this year. And uh, yeah, we have a meet up once a month, like I say. We've got members from all over the country. And uh, yeah, we're a good club and everyone has fun here. Would you, um, when you're here, would you let somebody just drive it like you just let me do it? Um, occasionally we do let trusted people sort of drive our trucks and that and we've got drivers as young as four years old that have driven my truck personally. But uh, yeah, we do let people drive occasionally. Are you saying I look a responsible person then? Yeah, you look like a responsible person. Oh dear. Yeah, you've done radio control yourself before so... Yeah, it's always, we, we do have to let new people have a go, right. so as they get into the hobby themselves. Right. So, uh, if I turn the camera off now, can you show me the one you've got for sale here? So, yeah, there is one here for sale. Yeah. So, we'll right go right. down there. So, not cheap, but yeah, there's a lot of work in these, they have to be made. Um, and it fantastic looking model, isn't it? And did I buy it? I'm afraid not, no. But uh, if you were interested, Various, various ones of his car are about if you want to contact them. But yeah, super flaming their model. Would have been lovely. This is one of the lorries that one of our club members has got for the sale. It's a Coca-Cola lorry. Uh, there's a lot of custom work that's gone into it. I can't remember how many LEDs are in it. There are like over 100 LEDs in it, which all had to be wired up and everything. Um, yeah, one of those club members has decided he wants to sell it now, it's time for someone else to enjoy it and uh, yeah, so we've got that for £975 uh, if anyone's interested, um, yeah, we can come uh, some people arrangement. And then is that card and I got to drive one of these trucks and which one was it? Well it was this one, so I did do the uh, cube camera on it but unfortunately it ran out of juice so I've only got a little bit of it to show you, sorry. Right. You might want to pause it for a minute. Uh, it's either on, it's either on or, or uh, ready for a fix, isn't it? Right. It was a shame, I had a hell of a long run with this. I really enjoyed it, it really, really, really good. So thank you for letting me have Just a Just to finish this little um, interview, could, could you show and explain your control? Um, yeah, um, my so controller, I, uh, I, I run Spectrum on mine. Um, I control all my trucks from this. Um, steering is done on the right, the throttle and the brakes and everything is done on the left. Um, I've got many other switches for various lights and other things that the trucks can do. Um, not a cheap controller, but it's one I like and I get on well with. Uh, and what hurts is it? Um, it's, they're all digital nowadays. They're digital? Yeah, they're all digital nowadays. Okay. Um, we've gone off the uh, old school crystal ones, we get a lot of problems right. with them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, most things nowadays are digital. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time and I really enjoyed uh, driving that. And we'll have to see what the little uh, cube camera got because it was sliding around on the roof all over the place. So it would be great fun. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. So to uh, finish here, there was this huge crane. Now the, uh, the actual uh, uh, truck didn't actually run, but the crane was uh, um, able to do all it's had to do. Didn't actually show it. But again, you know, really um, welcoming these were. You know, it's very nice to be able to use it. 
So there was a ride-on train there, unfortunately not operating um, when I filmed it, but it had been running earlier in the day, and as you can see, it had a bit of straight track down the field, which was fine, you know, the kids loved it. So another um, layout, um, and uh, again, quite a small one, um, but you know, you know, we can fit them in the houses, can't we, hopefully? And uh, yeah, nice, nice layout. So let's have a little bit of uh, showing it running. So as you can see, it's still the light's still not great, but it's amazing what you can pack in on a little layout, isn't it? With all the detail, absolutely super. The track might be fairly simple, but it's good, isn't it? <laughs> I might not be so ambitious at the time, but there's too much track. Every time you went around, there's another line of track going around. And then yeah. If you, the trouble is, keep it simple. Yeah. You yeah. still get some fun out Or you can go on main. And you can have a I think so this is fairly novel, I'm not quite sure about it, but please have a look at their website if you want to find out more. But these are sort of uh, toy trains, but big toy trains, um, for kids and they're plastic um, track and they're battery powered uh, with a switch so you can turn them on. So uh, pretty good and they've got a few models here. So yeah, if you're interested, perhaps have a look online. They've even got magnetic couplings, <laughs> taking it out of our book, eh? So yeah, that's them. Um, so uh, that was all that I've been really filmed. So I had a little walk around the site. So there was a first aid post here, which hopefully wasn't used too much. And there was also a handmade wooden uh, cross, which was quite nice. I did go in earlier on and have a look. And we're back to this signpost again. So I thought I'd just do a bit of a, a quick photographic through the site as I could. So as you can see, they're in the theater, um, which I think was used for the railways last year, but not this year. There is some water, although very deep. Hence, it's all uh, fenced in, which is good. And there's the Owl Sanctuary here, the Suffolk Owl Sanctuary. Um, and of course, the Leisure and Retail Village, um, which we'll have a little walk through. And um, wet tub, anybody? Hot tub? Um, this was probably the cheapest one, and they look a bit bigger, don't they? There's even an old Bedford fire uh, engine um, with their emblem on. Um, a bit rusty on the old emblem, isn't it? And a hose could look like it could be renewed a bit, but it probably still works. And what wheels? So yeah, just a few photos along. And you know, other shows on here. And that's the layout. And they sell caravans, funnily enough, and there's, you can have a holiday home on here, which is quite nice. It's a nice, um, nice and easy to get to, um, I thought. Um, yeah, it's just off the A14, um, just outside Ipswich. So um, that's a load of rubbish, isn't it? So as you can see, there was a, a model shop here, but they had a very limited range of second-hand stuff. Um, and uh, most of it was other things. Um, quite a good record collection here, look, if you wanted them. Um, but he, he put his uh, stall outside because of the show on, and there were a few bits there. I had a look. I didn't actually buy anything at the shows at all, but I did enjoy it really good. And yeah, you know, it goes on and on. <laughs> There's a golf park, um, it's even Dodgems, and I assume this is for the residents or whoever they are, the visitors. Um, and something for the kids is a pirate ship and everything so great fun so i really did enjoy my day and that's what i did in the car and you see only 82 miles there and back so pretty good so um on friday 
um, I'll have another update on the interim. How am I getting on with that? So please hope you like, like, like that and uh, watch it for me. And I hope you've enjoyed this. Cheers.